Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. In this Best of 2021 episode, we focus on an image that takes us beyond the images of floods and wildfires that have dominated recent depictions of climate change. This shot sets aside pictures of polar bears and exquisite images of melting glaciers to bring the crisis to the water's edge. This photo was taken by Mario Tama for Getty Images on September 3rd, 2021. It shows ice floating near boats in the main harbor in Elulisat, Greenland. The town is situated in Disco Bay, sometimes called the world's iceberg capital for its proximity to a 35-mile-long ice fjord designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The harbor is now open year-round because winter is no longer cold enough to freeze it solid. Global warming is taking a terrific toll on Greenland. Enough ice was estimated to have melted in July from the ice sheet there to cover the entire state of Florida with two inches of water. This is a good example of an image that shows the effects of climate change at a local scale, and also that implies that impact on humans. Do you really see the impact on a local community, on a place, and on people? And that's unusual for particularly climate change imagery in this part of the world. It's such a unique image compared to the ones that we've seen. Glaciers, whether they're melting or not, are very seductive. And we usually see these kinds of pictures through aerial photography, but you do not see them in context or in proximity to civilization, to towns, to social life. I'm also really struck by the way that Tama has photographed this so that we can see down into the water. If you look particularly at some of the icebergs on the lower left of the image, you can see that they extend pretty far down. So these are not easy structures to navigate, right? And they seem to be on the move, but they are not small and they are not insignificant. And I think that's important to notice because part of, I think, what Tama is doing in this photograph is to say, oh, this seems sort of funny, right? Like, who's going to be going out in their boat with all of these icebergs? But when you actually, again, see what's under the surface, I think he's making a more metaphorical argument, too, that there's a lot happening that people don't see that they're really going to have to deal with. You'd think of the photograph mostly as chaotic, but I think that Tom is actually doing something much more complex and illuminating here. Whereas this town used to be completely frozen over for most of the year, over the last couple of decades, it actually has become more passable because of the impact of climate change. So what really stands out then is the beauty of the scene, the beauty of the town. And in fact, Alulasat has actually become this tourist draw where thousands of people flock there every year. I mean, the population of the town is only 4,600, and it's become this world showcase for global warming. 